Hey there, this tutorial is part of my game maker course on Udemy, the link is in the description. Hey there, in this lecture we'll add a scrolling background to the game. I've imported the background image here, it's a simple water texture. So I'll open the room and go to the layers panel. I select the background layer. Under the properties, I can select an image for the background, so I select the water sprite. Now you can see that it appears in the room but only once. So I'll go to the properties and enable horizontal and vertical tiling. Now it fills the room. Now I'll go to properties and scroll down. I'll set the vertical speed to 4. So the background will keep going down at 4 pixels per step. So this way it'll give the illusion that the player ship is going forward when it's actually the background scrolling down. So I'll run the game and you can see that the background is moving. Now let's implement the islands. I'll start by creating a new sprite and I'll name it as island. I'll click on import. Now I need to import these four island images into one sprite. So I'll select these four files and click open. So now we have four frames in our sprite. Generally, multiple frames are used for animations. So you have a play button here and an animation speed and if you hit the play button, the sprite animates. But we don't need these 4 frames for animation. We just want any one of these images to randomly show up for the island. So I'll set the animation speed to 0 so that the sprite doesn't animate. And I'll set the origin to middle center. Now let me explain to you the image index of a sprite. Image index is a built-in variable in objects that stores the number of the frame that is being displayed. So the first frame is 0, the second frame is 1 and so on. So when we create our island object, we want it to select a random frame in the 0 to 3 range. So I'll create an object called O Island. I'll assign the sprite. Now I'll add the create event. In the actions, I'll search random. I need this get random number action, so I'll drag it in. This action will give me a random number in a range. So for that range, I'll set the minimum to 0 and the maximum to 3. I'll change decimal to integer since we don't want decimal values. And in the target, I'll type image index. So this action will return a random number in the 0 to 3 range and then apply it to image index. So the island instance will get a random frame from the sprite. Now in the actions, I'll search speed and add this set speed action. This action sets the speed of the insta so that it starts moving. I'll change direction to vertical since I want the instance to move vertically instead of moving in a specific direction. I'll set the speed to 4 so it'll move down at a speed of 4. The speed should match the vertical speed in your room's background. Now I'll click on add event, go to other and add the outside room event. This event runs when the instance goes completely out of the room. So in that case, we want to destroy the instance. If we don't destroy it, then the island instances will keep adding up and increase the memory usage. So I'll search destroy and add the destroy instance action here. So basically the instance will be deleted when it goes outside the room. Now I'll open the room and go to the layers panel. I'll click here to create a new instance layer. So basically this is another layer for placing instances. I'll hit F2 and rename it to islands. Now make sure that it's placed below the instances layer but above the background layer. Now I'll place some island instances in this layer. So the island instances will appear below the player ship because the island's layer is below the instances layer. Now I'll run the game and you can see that the islands have different images and that they move down. But we also need to make it so that more island instances are created automatically. So we'll do that in the next lecture.